Hello and welcome to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis. It's Thursday evening, and you know what that means. It means you're about to see several products and projects seeking your investment. That's right. These innovators, inventors, and entrepreneurs are hoping you'll be impressed. Impressed enough to help them get their projects off the ground and into the marketplace. And here's the best part. For most of these prospects, you can invest for as little as $100. Now the reason we do this is fourfold. Because your investment in small business startups helps power the economy. Because your interest in investment influences and encourages the inner entrepreneur in practically everybody. Because you never know when you're going to tap into the next big thing. Investing in what could become the next Uber, FedEx, Amazon, or Facebook. And because your investment may help turn some tinkers' efforts into an American dream come true. Now a quick programming note before we get started. You can stay on top of investment opportunities and keep in touch with us around the clock. We launch new programming, 7 p.m. Thursdays on Altice Channel 78, 7 p.m. Thursdays on Comcast Channel 190, 7 p.m. Thursdays on Roku, and whenever you want to watch online. The web address is www.connect.com sbn.com. Now please stay tuned. We'll be right back. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. Here's a reminder from all of us here at the Small Business Network. If you or someone you know has ALS, you can go to winningthefight.org right now for help and for more information. Thank you. Welcome back. I'm Brian DeNovellis. Thank you for tuning into our crowdfunding confabulation here on SBN, the Small Business Network. So how does this idea strike your fancy? 120,000 equity punks couldn't be wrong. Okay, that may be stretching it a little bit, but not by much. The aforementioned equity punks are powering a beer revolution. We're talking about the punks behind BrewDog. As their presentation materials put it, BrewDog is on a mission to make other people as passionate about great craft beer as they are. They say all they care about is brewing world-class craft beer. Extraordinary beers, they say, will kickstart a revolution. You think it sounds like hype, right? Well, let's not hide behind a mere press kit. Let's go to the campaign pitch video and hear the call of the BrewDog for ourselves. Hey guys, welcome to Planet BrewDog. <laughs> We're here to show you how BrewDog invests differently. By investing, you are investing in our futures, of our people, of this company, what we will and won't do, it's all up to you. At BrewDog, our business boils down to three things. Beer, people, and community. At BrewDog, we invest differently because we're looking at where craft beer is going, not where it is now. We make things we love ourselves from scratch. BrewDog invests differently in its people. We're very encouraged to find what is good for us and what we want to do and then push us towards what you know, goals that we have in our life. You're also helping us continue our business in a way that matters, independently and community owned. We're community funded and community driven. We like to go local as we can. We're going to local growers, local farmers, local everything. So if we're getting honey, we're going a mile down the road to a local honey farm and tying them into our process. You're investing in people, craft beer, and community the moment that you purchase a share. We live and die by our equity punks, the humans who made this possible for us. Minimum investment in BrewDog is only $60. So the opening gambit might be right on the money. More than 120,000 equity punks can't be wrong. They have invested and allowed BrewDog to grow into a company with bars ranging from the UK to Tokyo and with breweries in Scotland, Berlin, Australia, and the US. 
If you'd like to learn more about BrewDog before you consider investing, the Small Business Network can help. Just drop us a line here. Info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you with business advisors, including legal experts and our crowdfunding guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding lawyer. And remember, financing is available for most small business startups, including crowdfunding and franchising. We can show you how. Now stay tuned, we're right back with more ideas for your consideration right here on SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs. You don't realize when you're mentoring and talking to people that you're more than just that mentor. You're, you're that person's support base. And sometimes you're the only person that they have that they can talk about these things with. Here's a reminder from all of us here at the Small Business Network. If you or someone you know has ALS, you can go to winningthefight.org right now for help and for more information. Thank you. Have you ever been a personal trainer or been the client of a personal trainer? Were there ever any missed appointments or misunderstandings? Did you ever wish your trainer had an office manager in his pocket? What if we told you finally a personal trainer has put the ease of scheduling and more into an app called We Strive? Let's hear more about it now from the In Shape entrepreneur in the pitch video for We Strive. I'm Corey McCain, CEO and founder of We Strive. And I just wanted to add an updated video because we strive launched. So we can't have the old video on here, you gotta update it. Uh, we just launched a few weeks back. We're very excited about it. We had some early bugs and kinks. All those are fixed now, typical startup story. And we're just getting excited. We're signing a lot of people up. We're getting a couple subscriptions every single day. And that's gonna just keep going up and up as we update our onboarding process for both the mobile app and for the website. For those of you that don't know, WeStrive is the first ever mobile marketplace for personal training, and we're a massive CRM tool for personal trainers on the back end. So trainers are able to run their entire online business. They can handle billing, client management, progression tracking, program building, messaging, and more. And then in the front end, they're able to sell all their fitness programs in a marketplace and actually get new clients from that same marketplace. Essentially, we've created a platform that allows any exerciser to find any program and work with any trainer, no matter where they are. And then on the B2B side, we allow trainers to completely transform their business, save countless hours each week, and ultimately grow their revenue and gain clientele while removing all the headaches of do-it-yourself materials like they have to do currently. For now, we're raising funding to truly grow the platform we currently have. I can confidently take any personal trainer through our demo and they'll be mind blown by not only the features that we offer, but just the ease of use. Um, you know, we're just excited. It's been a long journey and we're looking for funding to just have a quick acceleration of growth, put more money behind our development process, put some money behind marketing, and ultimately bring WeStrive to the forefront of the personal training industry. We're happy to answer any of your questions. Again, I'm Corey McCain and thank you for your time. Minimum investment in Wee's Drive is $100. It's a great idea for not missing a training session, and everyone deserves best practices in small business matters. If you want more information on making an investment in Wee's Drive, the Small Business Network can help. Please drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can help you find answers to all sorts of investment questions, whether it's financing small business startups, or if it's crowdfunding or franchising. Let us show you how. Stay where you are. 
We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with a double shot of projects in the entertainment sector for you to consider. You're watching SBN, the small business network. Here's a reminder from all of us here at the Small Business Network. If you or someone you know has ALS, you can go to winningthefight.org right now for help and for more information. Thank you. This is SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. I'm Brian DeNovellis. Welcome. Right now, a double shot we promised before the last break. Two live offers from the entertainment sector. One where movie fans buy in and own the studio. The other where fans fuel the fantasy and content they help develop. Available across multiple platforms. And that's where we begin. The people behind the Fantasy Network call it a streaming and crowdfunding network for fantasy film lovers. They have based the business on an interesting premise. Starting with a sustainable business model, viewers watch for free, then voluntarily pledge or subscribe to renew their favorite shows. Content leaders are proven filmmakers. The company was founded by the award-winning creators of The Outpost, Journey Quest, Mythica, The Rangers, and more. Finally, they have made it community owned. When you invest, you are joining a crucial part of the global network of fans and creators making incredible independent film and television. Does this fit the fantasy of your investment reality or vice versa? Let's take a look at the pitch video for the Fantasy Network. We are the dreamers. From every corner and nation. We have found each other. All from different paths of life. Yet united in one voice. One voice. We are the storytellers. The dungeon masters. The artists and cosplayers. We've never fit neatly in a box. We are fellow sojourners who can now be heard. We are kings in another galaxy. We just might have been born in the wrong time. The wrong universe. But one thing is for certain. We know who we are. We know who our community is. We are the Fantasy Network. Fans and creators, we have come together. We decide the stories and series. And we support the ones who have a story to tell. In a world of reboots and superficial films, it's good to know we have a home. Join us in the fantasy and own your reality. The Fantasy Network. Epic is waiting. Hi, I'm Griffin. And I'm Morgan. And we produced Abracadabra. And we are also the fresh faces of the Fantasy Network. Well, our show is freshly on the Fantasy Network. <laughs> we are. <laughs> and our show is fresh on the Fantasy Network. Hi, this is Lakeisha Jackson, the writer and director of a new show on the Fantasy Network called Shiny New Things. Hey, I'm Jason DeFord, producer of Cold from the Sky and director of Chapter One of said series. Hi, my name is Wilson Large, and I am the manager of D4 Productions, LLC. And we went to so many different distributors and different channels to try to find the best possible home for this web series. And when we came across the Fantasy Network, we immediately saw the potential. We are so excited to be a part of the Fantasy Network. They have some amazing functions and features coming out for the viewing audience. So I hope that you guys check out the producers and the content and support the channel. By doing that, you will be supporting the indie filmmaking community directly because this channel is run by filmmakers. You know, the folks, uh, Ron and Ben and and everyone else over at the Fantasy Network understand me, they understand my plight. <laughs> it's uh, people who are honest about the content and the, and the work that they're doing and the work that they'll work with you. Yeah, what excites us is 
m making more content and the Fantasy Network has all the right tools and it's the right platform to do that. It's a platform that unites both creators and their audiences to work together to produce unique content that um, both parties are passionate about. It's been great to work with the Fantasy Network because they give me a quarterly report always. Um, I always get some money. It's amazing. Uh, it's the coolest thing ever. Journey Quest and gamers and standard action and AFK. Like, all of your fantasy stuff. All in one place. There are very few things that I feel like super passionate about and uh, one of them is as an independent filmmaker how amazing the Fantasy Network is. So check them out at thefantasy.network and um, see what 2020 has in store. Minimum investment in the Fantasy Network is 100 bucks. There's more to learn about the Fantasy Network if you're considering an investment, and SBN can help. Let us show you how. Drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com, and we'll get you all hooked up. Shop number two of our entertainment sector investments is all about Legion M. Do you like good movies? How about scary movies? Maybe you like to take your best date to see a little romance on the big screen? It may be your time to explore Legion M as part of your investment planning. Legion M claims to be the world's first fan-owned entertainment company. The company funds films, TV shows, and VR experiences. And when it's profitable, it shares the rewards and revenues among its investors. Let's take a closer look at the appeal of the sixth round pitch video from Legion M. Legion M is the world's first fan-owned entertainment company. What we're doing with Legion M has never been possible before. Yep. We think that an entertainment company owned by fans is better than one owned by Wall Street. And so we're funding films and TV shows and VR projects collectively as a community. And when we're successful, sharing the reward. You know, being a part of Legion M, whether you invest or not, is being a part of a community that is making a difference in the entertainment industry, supporting and representing original breakthrough content. Legion M is an amazing company. It's owned 100% by the fans. We see fans as having immeasurable power. What it is that you guys do that's so special is you connect with fans. And that, that's meaningful for filmmakers and for films to be able to find an audience. Our goal is one million fans unite to take over Hollywood. If we're able to achieve that, that would give us literally hundreds of millions of dollars to produce movies and television shows that have a million fans standing behind them. That's not a small company in Hollywood. That is one of the most influential companies on the planet. It's an amazingly fun process to open the gates of Hollywood and allow people to come in. And if you believe in the power of fans and a fan-owned company, yep. we want you to come join the Legion. That's why I like these Legion M cats. I am. Legion M. I am Legion M. Join the Legion. Join the Legion. Join the Legion. Join the Legion. I am Legion. Minimum investment is 100 bucks. If you want to help turn the wheels of the entertainment industry, you may want to become an equity investor in Legion M. And the Small Business Network can help. Just drop us a line here. Info at sbncrowd.com. More to see coming up from the wide world of small business startups and visionary entrepreneurs. Stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. Here's a reminder from all of us here at the Small Business Network. If you or someone you know has ALS, you can go to winningthefight.org right now for help and for more information. Thank you. SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. Now here's a headline for you. Narrative Food has filled 33,000 orders in nine years to earn the tune of three and a half million bucks. Good on them. 
and maybe good on you too if you choose to make an investment in a company that has combined a tight-knit customer base with 100 organic food growers and small-scale food makers. This success story, get it? Narrative has succeeded through repeat customers and zero dollars marketing budget. Why don't we take a moment and have a look at the crowdfunding campaign pitch video for Narrative Food. I believe food is so much more than just fat, proteins, and carbohydrates. Food is people and place and memories and time unplugged. And it's our health and the planet's health. I'm Jennifer Piet, the founder of Narrative Food. We provide our customers with a healthy, engaging food experience, which is good for our community and good for the environment. Almost 10 years ago, we packed our first farm boxes in the barn of a friendly farmer. We filled those boxes with fresh provisions for the week, produce and foods from all the food groups grown by local providers, and recipes on a weekly theme using almost everything in the box. We had no idea that nine years later we'd be an award-winning certified B Corporation, that we'd have delivered tens of thousands of food boxes. And bottom line, we would have never thought we could keep $3.5 million of our customers' food dollars in our local food system. We are now Southern California's oldest farm-to-table home delivery service still operating independently. I love working with Jennifer. We've worked together for a number of years. We share a lot of the same ideals, building community and sharing great food with people. It gives an opportunity to really know who's behind the things that they're eating, to build a relationship with somebody who cares about the fundamentals and just creates a level of trust and traceability with your food. Narrative food, Jennifer, absolutely wonderful. They're so supportive and I really believe in everything they stand for. Behind all great food there really is a good story and what I appreciate most is the opportunity to tell my story through my bread. Our boxes are more than just recipes and ingredients. Our boxes tell stories. They use local food narratives to inspire conversation around the table. While we could boast about famous people who get our boxes, it's the kids who we're most proud of. When me and my brothers and sisters were running around, and then when the box came, we would open it and get the fruits and vegetables out like it was presents on Christmas morning. My name is Bee, and I'm the creative director of Narrative Food. Narrative Food is important to me because we not only share delicious ingredients that are grown locally, but we share the stories behind the people, the place, the cultures, and all of the memories, the reasons why food does more than just give you nutrition, but gives you purpose and meaning when you're sharing um, a meal with friends and family. We're raising $200,000 to invest in our team and marketing. We need your support so we can scale to a more meaningful impact. So Narrative Food will thrive, not just survive. Thank you. Minimum investment in narrative food is $100. They have a lot of stories to tell, but it's very easy to see. These entrepreneurs have set a determined pace to succeed and to succeed on their own terms. The next step may rely on your investment consideration as Narrative Food looks to scale up beyond Southern California and to market its model to the growing number of families going organic for mealtimes. If you'd like to learn more about Narrative Food, the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by dropping a line here. Info at sbncrowd.com. We'll help connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. We can show you how. Stay tuned. There's more ahead as SBN continues. You're watching the Small Business Network. We'll be right back. Colossal, stupendous, death-defying. What some people will say to fuel your interest, whether you want to spend a million or make a million. Our kicker today even blows us away. It has a down-to-earth appeal for you to invest in a project that actually encompasses the earth. 
We're talking about the greatest adventure on Earth, and it has all the zest and vigor of an explorer like Indiana Jones and all the bombast of P.T. Barnum. We definitely have the sense it will succeed, but what can it mean for your investment? According to the presentation materials, the founders are pioneers of the adventure travel industry. They live and breathe this space, see where it's headed, and are passionate about sharing a sense of thrill, wonder, and adventure with the world, around the world. They also care deeply about conscious travel in a rapidly warming and globalizing world. The real kick is that they're storytellers at heart. Now we've given you a little build up to a little bit of the pitch video and a note on that. While you see a portion of the pitch in our program, you can see the video in its entirety online at connectsbn.com. Meanwhile, check these highlights for your investment interest in the greatest adventure on earth. Look forward, look forward. About a year ago, I got an email from my good mate, Darren Hillhouse. It read something like this. I'm working on a secret project called The Greatest Adventure on Earth. Three years, three continents, one million dollars. First to find it keeps it. One of my biggest motivations as a filmmaker is to capture what has never been captured before. The people, the places, and the cultures that persevere in spite of the relentless pace of globalization. World travel has changed dramatically over the last decade. Packaged tour operators have commercialized the world's most iconic destinations, turning them into bona fide theme parks, flooding them with tourists. Social media influencers have glamorized independent travel, creating false perceptions through manipulated photos and sensationalized highlight reels. All the while, carbon emissions from air travel have risen 70% faster than predicted. Well, that's the bad news. The good news is that travelers desperately want something different. They're increasingly abandoning the beaten path in search of new frontiers and authentic experiences. They're looking to connect personally with the locals, get to know other kindred spirited travelers. They're also becoming hyper aware of their social and environmental footprints and actively looking for ways to mitigate them by giving back. The adventure travel market is set to grow from 520 billion to 1.2 trillion over the next six years. Yet there are precious few companies offering experiences that meet the demands of the next generation of independent traveler. So that's where the greatest adventure on earth comes in. Darren and his team can explain it much better than I can. So let's meet the team behind this insane company. Gentlemen, it's a pleasure. Let's get right into it. Darren, what is the greatest adventure on earth? Give us the elevator pitch. So The Greatest Adventure on Earth is a three-year global adventure where participants search for clues, solve puzzles, and complete challenges to reveal a route to the greatest places on Earth and ultimately to a hidden $1 million prize. Any closing thoughts, Luke? I think it's important to reiterate that The Greatest Adventure on Earth is not just a global travel event. It's a global travel platform. And I really believe we have the right team, the right concepts, and the right timing to see this vision through. Uh, and we love to invite the WeFunder community to come and be a part of that and uh, help us take this to the world. It is going to be an adventure. Um, you could become an owner of the greatest adventure on earth and still take part to win that $1 million. I hope to see you out there. If you'd like to learn more about the greatest adventure on earth, the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by dropping a line here. Info at sbncrowd.com. We'll help connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. We can show you how. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. We'll be right back.
Here's a reminder from all of us here at the Small Business Network. If you or someone you know has ALS, you can go to winningthefight.org right now for help and for more information. Thank you. That's going to wrap this edition of SBN. We're glad you've made the Small Business Network part of your regular viewing habits. And we hope to see you back here next Thursday evening. Until next time, good health, good heart, and good investments. Thanks for watching SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs.